everyone how are we all nice to see you um we're gonna do this because i honestly don't even know where i'm going on it we did a lap the other day didn't we and we didn't finish it because i didn't know where i was going so yeah we're gonna take it very easily like very easy um just driving around learn the track we're not going to do any races to start with um we're probably going to do an hour of just driving the track and trying to get the feel for it trying to learn it and then we might do a race practice at the end of the stream or something but um yeah Feel free to jump in the lobby when I create it chat. Nice of you all to come in. Nice to see you all in nice and early. Thank you for coming in. Um, yeah, we're just going to try and figure this out because I cannot remember racing this. I, I I vaguely remember doing something on it a long time ago, but I don't know if I raced it or not. I have a feeling I didn't race this one, but um, yeah, I have no idea where we're going. So um, we need to figure this out. So what better way to do it than an open lobby, chill out session. You lot can jump in and we can all try and figure it out together. So yeah, pretty much anyone can jump in because I've set the lobby quite low rated. Um, yeah, same funders. I, 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 I remember doing something on it, but I, it might have been in group two, a lap on it. But I... It was that long ago. I, I have no idea where I'm going. So we're going to um, have to try and figure this out. It might have been ma manufacturer. Was it manufacturing the Porsche? Possibly was in the Porsche funders. You might be right. But I can't remember that. I, it's been a long time. I can't remember where I'm going. So let's... Um, I've got the lobby here. Um, no tire wear or anything on at the moment. We're going to jump in with time trial settings and just figure the track out. So feel free. Jump in. Join the lobby. Um, we'll have some fun with this. We'll, we're just going to be chilling out. So don't worry if you're slow because I'll be slower. So don't worry about it. 
Um, I can't remember if I if I did well or not, Fonders. <laughs> I can't remember how the race went. I have no idea. So this will be fun anyway. Let's see what we can do. Right. Um, I'm trying to think what car. I want to learn it in an easy to drive car, like the RCZ, Porsche. Um, something very easy. I think the Nissan GTR is going to be strong here, but um, I don't want to learn it in that because I feel like it's probably. I won, did I? Did I? <laughs> Can't remember that. Um, it must have been a low rank lobby or something then. It couldn't have been a very high rank lobby if I won it. Um, yeah, or the FT1 might be quite easy to learn it in. You know what? We'll, we'll just go with the Porsche. Let's learn it in the Porsche. So we need the hard tyres on. You've just got the PS5. Nice. Welcome to the PS5 club, where you don't get much to play because there's nothing out on it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, and now we've got to wait for Gran Turismo 7. Yep. Right, let's just go out on track and try and figure this out. So, I'm going to drive really slowly to start with because what I'm going to do is just try and get an idea of like the, the layout so we're not going to push too aggressive so we go into the right hand corner here no it's a no stop race by the looks of it it looks like a no stop race anyway I'm, I'm looking at the track map to see what corners are coming up Okay, yeah, you can be a bit more aggressive through there. Oh, where are we going? Oh, God. You okay, Binyu? How are you? Yeah, but 2042 I'll be buying. I'll be definitely getting that. I might even get the new COD this year, because I believe it's coming out of a few more maps this time. Not that I'll ever play it. <laughs> I mean, I, I really want to get Battlefield, but it's just trying to find time to actually play it would be a problem. At the moment, I'm just using him as a bit of a guide here because I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, this is that weird chicane where you've got to chuck it in. Is this a really weird corner up here? I feel like this corner up here is a really weird one. Jesus, yeah, that's a weird one, isn't it? I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just using him as a gu this guy in front of us as a guide. He looks like he knows where he's going, kind of. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Whether I get COD all depends on the skill-based matchmaking, whether they've gone back to the old way of doing it, because... I cannot stand the new way they do it. It's just boring. It's just... It's too try-hard. It's not enjoyable. It used to be enjoyable because it was just a relaxing game you could jump on and have a laugh on. Like, a game like Call of Duty does not suit skill-based matchmaking, in my view. They need to tone it down so that it just puts you with anyone, pretty much. You okay, Kinetic? How are you, mate? You okay, Henry? Is this the last corner? Oh, okay. Here's the last corner, apparently. Well, that's a lap of the track. That I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, it will be in circuit experience, yeah. I prefer learning it like this, so if I'm honest. Right before the hundred. And this corner's almost flat out, isn't it? 
by the looks of it before. It looked like we could have pretty much gone flat through here. And then just get on the brakes as soon as you straighten up, I reckon, there. I was a bit early. Oh, getting a bit loose. Ah, uh, no circuit experience in reverse. Yeah, that'll be a problem. <laughs> Don't know where I'm braking this, so I'm just going to brake early. We'll figure that out. Now, this is a very tight apex, isn't it? Tight hairpin. And then this is the chicane. This is the IFB chicane, which you kind of go flat out through, but just the little lift. And, oh, no, I've done too much. Such a weird chicane, that. You've got to try and carry the speed through there by cutting the corner almost. But we'll figure that one out. And then this is the weird corner. I don't like this corner. Just feels like it's... Oh, yeah, it's really horrible, that corner. I feel like this is a very hard track to learn, you know. Okay, so now we're on the section of, of St. Croix C, aren't we? But it's going to break away from that section, is it? So this is the St. Croix C, but... Okay, now I'm kind of... I know where I'm going here now. But it's going to change where we're going in a minute, isn't it? We're going to go right here instead, aren't we? And then we join St. Croix B. Where you go in St. Croix B, I think, now. Oh, this is proper messing with my head this this is the best way to learn it though try and remember different parts of the track oh is that itch doing practice as well i think a lot of people will because no one knows the track i have no idea where i'm going i'm just trying to figure this out We'll just try and slowly pick up the pace. It's the best way to do it. I could have stayed in third gear there. It's too late on the brakes. Way too late on the brakes. <laughs> yeah, we're about 10 seconds off base, I reckon. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, we don't know where we're going, though, so you can't expect to be, like, flying around. You need to learn the track. Well, I'm pushing too much now. That's a bit better through there. Now, this is that tricky corner. This actually, tra the track isn't that hard to learn, you know. I don't reckon it'll be as hard as what I thought. Oh, this this is where it joins into the St. Croix Sea layout. So from here. Okay, okay. I can...
too late on the brakes. That was a bit wrong through there, but... Oh, that's an awful line. What am I doing? <laughs> really bad line. Evening Flash, how are you? Stay in third gear this time. Don't go down to second. That's better. Get on the brakes a bit earlier here. So once the car straightened up, Bit better. You okay, Peter? How are you? So we're going to break a little bit closer to the curb, I think, this time. Look for the red and white curb, and then break just before it. No, that's that's too late. That's too late. We need to break. I reckon. I think I've got it now. I reckon. I know everyone's doing that there. <laughs> okay, I think. And this corner break in between the 50 and the other one. I need to figure the braking after the bridge and then I've got I've got that sorted pretty much through there up to that point. I actually think this is gonna be an alright track, you know. I, I I am starting to think it might be an alright track. I feel like the flow might be quite good here. This corner's gonna be tricky to get right. Oh, you've got the rig sorted, have you, Mike? You've been looking at a rig. What one did you have a look at? They just don't use it, yeah. The, I know what you mean, go to... It's, it's actually not as bad as I thought to learn. Because, I like, it, you've just got to break it into sections. So this is all about the St. Croix C version. But now it's going to go right instead of left. And then you're joining the B version. Honda said he's never been round there and he's now four seconds quicker than us. I sent some horse shit from Funder. <laughs> He's lying. He's telling Porky's chat. The Supra will be fast. I think the um, GTR will be the car, though, you know. I have a feeling. The, the NSX... Group three um, for this race. I'm not sure. Nah, nah, four seconds, mate. That he know he knows the track. Not having that. No way. Thank you, second gear. Yeah, we haven't done a good lap yet. Um, look how we're way off pace. 
We can go a lot faster than what we've done so far. We need to just get this braking right here. the lever on the chair that you've looked at there's a few complaints on it that's why I've gone with Dim Lab this is the corner where I'm losing a lot of pace I reckon uh, that's that felt a bit better What a dick. Oh yeah, basic Ollie's got the same problem me. That's who that's the end next level one. Okay, we lost probably about six attempts there, I reckon, with that at least half a second, six tenths, so. And this final corner, there's loads of time to gain if I get it right, which I haven't. Oh, there's probably, yeah, so there's at least two seconds to come off this lap. So, yeah, we're probably not that far behind funders if we just get an alright lap in. Yeah, once I've got the track sorted, I'll move to a different car that's going to be more competitive. Yeah, you want to look at my Mike, seriously, just look at um what what's the brand? What's what's it called again? Um the aluminium one by um I can't think of their name. It's what what the one that Tichini uses, the aluminium one of what Tichini uses. I can't think what it's called. My, my mind's just gone blank. I don't know why I can't think of the, na the name of it. It's not Simlabs. Um, can't think of it now. I don't know why I can't think of it. Someone in the chat will know straight away. They'll tell you. I just can't think of the name for some reason. Omega. Yeah, that's it. GT Omega, sorry. That's the one you probably want to go with. If you're in America, because I think they're based in America. This corner is the tricky one. You want to get as far to the right as possible so you clip this curve on the outside, really. I've messed that up. You have to search for the lobby, Ryan, and just join it. It's probably full, though, so you probably won't get in. Yeah, it's probably full by now. Okay, we're six temps up there. Oh, we're going to lose time. Oh, no. Oh, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to find the braking for that corner is pretty difficult. Oh, 
bullshit, mate. I'm not having it, Thunders. You're lying. <laughs> you don't. You can't just get that pace from foot seven lap. It doesn't happen, mate. No way. You must know the track slightly. I'm telling you now. You must have a bit of an inkling to the track to do that. <laughs> no one just does that after six or seven laps without knowing where they're going. <laughs> He's telling Porky's chat. He's telling Porky's. Ah, uh, no, he can't do that flat, I don't reckon. Meh. Nah. Yeah, Zab, Zab knows the track, though. Zabazic knows the track. Oh, shit. Ah. Nearly died. Let's break a bit later and go down to first skip. No. That was wrong. No, too fast. Ah, wonder what car funders is in. Also, though, what car did you do that lap in, though, funders? By the way, that, the Porsche will be a, at least a second off the top car. Um, wonder what car he was in. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try something. Up. Now we kind of got a bit of a glimpse of the track. Uh. We need something a bit faster, I think. I reckon the GTR or the Supra. You're in the Audi. The Audi actually might be quite a good track um, car for the track. That's a good point that the Audi might be pretty solid there because it's fast corners. That would also mean the Lamborghini would be good here. The Lambo would probably be good as well. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you're going to try the Hurricane now. Yeah, the Lambo. The Golf might be all right as well, you know. Corvette, not very good at fast, like fast flowing corners. Oh, I wouldn't use the Corvette. Um, Beetle could be good for the race, you know. Yeah, I'm going to try the GTR and see what the GTR can do. It, I don't like the GTR, but I, I reckon the GTR is going to be OP here personally, but even the FT1 might be worth a shot as well. Where the hell is the GTR? It's got to be up here somewhere because we used it not long ago. Oh, there it is. <sighs> now nah, the Porsche won't be the car to go for this. It won't be. It'll be all right, but it won't be the fastest. The GTR, I think, will. Yeah, but the problem is, though, I think Super will be good. But if you come up against someone like Fire, he'll beat you in this in this in the GTR. Oh, um, Ada's fear. Thank you so much for the five pound donation, you legend. Get that legend emoji spammed out for Ada's fear, please, chat. With the five pound PayPal donation, what a legend! Thank you very much, mate. Who is that in the chat? Just so I know who it is, because I can't. I, I, don't know who that might be an old like another name for someone it could be like because sometimes paypal it goes through as someone else's name yeah hard tires maybe put it up but i'm just thinking of the straight line speed oh there you are Aether Sphere. thank you you legend thank you very much appreciate your donation mate you're new thank you very much for the five pounds what a legend. Nah, Corvette won't be OP here. I, I can't see the Corvette being OP. Purely because of the nature of the track. I think the Audi is going to be really strong, you know, like Funders has said. I think the Audi will be very, very strong. But in the race, something like the GTR might be better. 
and Mike as well. Thank you for the five dollars, you legend. Make it rain. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, people. You legends. Get that legend most spammed out for Mike as well, please, chat. And see, that, that's the thing with the GTR. I need to find an alternative to the GTR because I, I don't like the GTR. Never able to get to grips with this car. So where you have to brake with it as well, it just and the throttle. I, I don't like it. Let me find an alternative to this because I, I the Supra and the GTR are not my cars. I really don't like them. Um. The Hi no, high on they won't be worth using. Definitely not. It, it won't be fast enough. Um. No, McLaren and McLaren definitely not. It's not the right type of track for the McLaren, Greg. It's when it's fast corners, the McLaren will not be a car to use. You need something very um good in like mid to high speed corners for this track. Hmm. The Ferrari will be brilliant, but it'll kill you in the race. I, I'm going to give the RCZ a go, you know, because if you can really start to get to grips with the RCZ, it might actually do better than you think here. Especially on hard tyres. Let's give the RCZ a go on hard tyres. No, we're not racing yet. The whole point of this is a practice lobby for people to get used to the track. So, yeah, we, we did state that it would not be a race straight away. So, if you're looking for a race, you might want to leave for a bit because we're going to be doing another... We're going to be doing another 30 minutes of just learning the track before we go into a race. Aston Martin could be worth a shot. I, I That might work. Um, I'll give that a go after, Greg. I think that might work. Z4, yeah. See, the thing with the RCZ is, in a slipstream, this car is very strong. And tire wear is OP, so in the race, this car could be very, very good, I reckon. But you'd have to sit in the slipstream. Got to figure out the braking for that corner. Oh, it feels really nice in that corner. There's the um, RCZ. This feels better than the Porsche, you know. Might be the gearing that suits this track more, because you notice we're in higher gears. Right, Matt, mate, we're not racing. L listen to what I'm saying. Listen to the words that come out of my mouth. We are racing in half an hour. We're not racing yet. Because it's not all about just one person. It's about everyone wants to warm up, get used to the track, and then we'll do a race. This stream's going to be about two hours of just learning the track. So, yeah, we're not racing yet, mate. <laughs> yeah, we said Vantage before. Vantage, I, I think, is worth a shot. Oh, this does... It feels good, the RCZ, you know. I feel like the gearing is pretty good for the track. I'm going to give myself a bit of space here. Are you off, Mike? See you soon. We'll be racing in about half an hour. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a practice race in about half an hour. It's a boring race anyway. It's it, it, Honestly, the race isn't that exciting. It's six laps, no stop. But... Um, We're gonna. We'll start. We'll start a race when the time gets to an hour, and then we'll do maybe two races. But yeah, I was gonna say Lamborghini will be fast. He's already tried the um, R8. I think this will be fast. Try the RCZ if you, like. Although you'll be slower in time trial, I reckon in the race it'll be better. With time six tire wear, it's only six laps, though, isn't it? That's the thing. I lose a lot of time through turn one, I know that. Ah. Uh, 
really weak through there. <laughs> I know it for the Troy, but I, I've, I've already stated that we're not starting a race yet, and um, people keep asking, like, you know what I mean? Like, we've stated that we're not racing yet, so I don't know why people keep asking in, in the game chat when I've stated. If he's not in the stream, then that's not my problem. <laughs> Oh, that, what am I doing? I think it on the power. He's left anyway. There's a space for someone out of the stream. There you go. He wasn't in the stream, so probably so. At the end of the day, I'm not really worried. I'd rather people from the stream be in, in the practice session anyway. <laughs> Bill, we will be in half an hour, mate. We're just practicing at the moment. See, we lost a bit on the first set. Got a bit back there with this. We haven't done a clean lap yet, really, have I? Stay in third gear, on the power. Yeah, it feels a bit better through there. Oh! It's actually not too bad to learn from, um, from Dr. Flex. Like, I'm start I've just gained a couple of attempts there. It's actually... Um, I feel like it's going to be a bit like St. Croix C, where you start off having no idea where you're going, and then you gradually learn it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're gonna, I'm going to start... I've gained a shitload of time there. I must have done that really bad, that sector. If I can get the final corner done, all right. We should be a little bit closer to the pace here. That's a better line. Much better line. Get a bit of slipstream from P4 as well. Okay, it's a little bit closer, isn't it? We're on the two seconds from Funders now. Yeah, it's just it's just a it's a learner, isn't it, this track? It's one of them tracks where you've got to keep the I feel like by like I reckon I'll struggle on Monday, so tomorrow I'll struggle. And then I think by, like, Wednesday I'll be starting to pick up a bit of pace. And then I think by, like, the end of the week I'll be really liking this track, you know. I've got I've got that feeling. It's going to be a bit like the St. Croix Sea race where I was really liking it by the end of the week. Yeah, we're not really hot lapping at the moment, though. That's the thing. We're kind of just just cruising around. We, we're not really pushing the limits. And I, I wouldn't go off YouTube laps purely because they could be using any settings. They could be having, like, BOP off and on whatever tyres. So I, I would be careful using anything like that off YouTube. You don't know what settings they're using. A lot of people lie on YouTube, like, with their settings and stuff. I need to get past him, don't I? Stay in fifth gear, stay in fifth gear. Clip the curb. Ah. 
There's a lot of time here. I've just messed that up again. Still half second up, even though I ballsed it up. There'll be a lot of time here if you get on the power early. Oh, I've just turned in way too early for that. That's a tricky corner, that. You've really got to find the, the point where you're turning in. Ah, messed it up. Final corner again. There's, I'm losing in three, four tenths on that final corner alone. But we went a bit faster. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Yeah, the wide course, PT, the very right. That wide tracks always give good racing. I, do you know, this is the type of track I'd love to see an MX-5 race on as a daily race because could you, like, it's like St. Croix C. The track's so wide that you just have such good racing there. Like, you'd have three wides going through the corners and stuff, and that's what I want for daily racing. So maybe one day PD will listen and um, give us an MX-5 race at St. Croix. That could be brilliant. Ah, oh, break too deep, too deep. I know you can cut that corner a little bit there, so I reckon you need to take more speed through that chicane as well. Lost a lot of time there. How late can we break? Right, just at the end of the barrier, it's too late. Just a bit too late at the end of the barrier. So this, the Peugeot, obviously, that we're in now isn't a time trial car. This car will not be a time trial car. This is more of a race car. But the problem is, if the Lamborghini and the, and the Audi are like a second quicker or like six temps quicker, even with, with only time six tyre wear and six laps, I think they'll be the cars to go. I don't mind trying to get used to the Lamborghini because I quite like it when you get used to that car. Oh, shit. Gone wide. <laughs> to be honest, Phil, um, they are listening a bit, you know, because a lot of the track, we've had a lot of combinations popping up that were on my video from tracks and combinations never used. They, they've got to be listening because since we've done that video, there's been about four or five combinations of it in that video that have never been used that have popped up as daily races. So I, th I think they're listening. They just don't always listen. That's the thing. I think I think they are trying to listen. St. Croix C, yeah. The, I tell you, the St. Croix C Group 1 race was the best one we've had in a while. That, oh shit, that Group C, that um, Group 1 race, sorry, on St. Croix C was absolutely brilliant. Drew, like, that was such good racing. I loved that week. So he's gone down 203 flat there now with the Lambo, I reckon. Oh. I might try that Lamborghini, but it's a very tricky car. I know that it, you have, it takes a while to get used to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that was a bit better through there, but I didn't get on the power very well. Ah, messy. I've lifted too much there.
Yeah, I can imagine in the bridge section. Other YouTubers on GT for what well, GT YouTubers subscriber wise, probably not too bad. If it's just pure subscribers, we're probably a little bit ahead of a lot of people, but like Super GT is obviously the main one for GT Sport, but in terms of just subscribers, we're quite high, but it doesn't go by subscribers really. A lot of the people that were subscribed to my channel for GT have stopped playing GT now, so like, I'd say I reckon about half of my subscribers don't even play GT anymore. A lot of them don't bother watching anything. So when GT7 comes out, I expect quite a big boost in the watch in how many people we're getting in in the streams and stuff. Because I was obviously streaming and, and doing GT content a long time ago. Ah, uh, no, don't get dirty tires, you donkey. No. You okay now? How are you, mate? You can tell that these corners will really suit the Lamborghini and that, you know. You can just tell. The Lamborghini loves that type of corner there. It will fly through there. Should have stayed in third. Yeah, some people still watch us even though they stopped playing. There are a lot of people that just don't really bother with GT at all anymore. Um, I, I'm originally from down south, but I moved up to Runcorn when I was younger. There is a, a, four, a, a 204 in that car, but... Let's just try, um, see, I, it takes me a while to get used to the Lamborghini. Where is it? Where's the Lambo? It does take me a bit of time to get used to it. But it might be a very good car for this week. Uh, no, I think it's harder this week. Oh, that, that one. Are you on about the one at the start of the lap? That's actually quite easy this way. I wouldn't mind this car being good though, you know. It'd be nice to get used to this car again because when, when I get used to this, it's actually a really enjoyable car to drive. It's just a bit sketchy. It's just a tire wear. I don't know if it, it will survive the race with the tire wear or not. It, sh it should do though. Seven more likes for 200. Thank you very much. No, this car doesn't understeer. This car's an oversteerer, George. This car's an oversteer. McLaren's an understeer, yeah. The McLaren GTR is an understeer, if you're on about that. That'll be too much understeer for this track. But yeah, seven more likes and we've hit 100 likes. So let's see if we can get that done, chat, you legends. Let's see what it's like through here. I reckon you can cut that corner more than what I'm doing, you know. I reckon you can almost straight line it. Oh, you can feel the way this, this car loves that type of corner there. Absolutely loves it. Like, the way it rotates on the throttle. And off throttle as well. See, there's not many slow, slow corners in this track, so 
it will suit the Lamborghini, I reckon. But I still think the GTR and the race, you'll find a lot of people... The Supra will probably be king of time trial here, though. I just don't like the Supra. I hate it. I don't like the way it drives. But if we have to use it, we might have to learn it again and try and get used to it. Oh, sketchy. Thank you. Ah, uh, too late on the brake. <laughs> From the Super at Tokyo. I'm just not a fan of the way the Super drives, never have been. I mean, considering how bad that turn one was and we're only a tenth down, that shows you this car is probably very strong. Because I lost more than a tenth there in that first corner. The Mustang, eh, I don't think it'll work here though. I mean, we're up, we're up on a bad lap here so far. An awful lap when we're actually up. It's crazy. This car feels like it's going to be good here. Set up. Um, time six on hard tires, but it's only six laps. But I'm, at the moment, I'm looking at time trial for this car. Oh, you pleb. I mean, that would have been faster than our... We still nearly matched the, the Peugeot laps. So that shows you how good this Lamborghini is going to be. Hmm, interesting. We lost more than a second with that lap, definitely. Mm. I just don't know whether the tyres are going to hold up for six laps with that with this car, though. Time six tyre wear. I don't know, but the Lamborghini's looking good. The Lamborghini's looking very strong there. Very, very strong. For time trial, I think it's strong anyway. Well, let's let's see what the Supra's like. Let's. Where is the Supra? Let's do a... I don't like it, but I'll try and see if I can figure the thing out. And then we'll start a race in a bit to see what maybe we'll do two races try we'll try a car like the lamborghini and then we'll try a car a bit better on tire wear like i don't know the rcz or something see if there's see if there's an advantage in either one 
it'll be a no stopper. There's no there's no compulsory tire, so it'll definitely be a no stopper. It's only six laps, mate. So yeah, you don't want to be pitting because the point, the thing is, time six tire wear. The pit stop's going to be about 15 to 20 seconds loss. If you pit, your race is over. So it's definitely going to be a no stopper. I'm pretty sure at that. The Supra will be strong here. It's just, I'm just not a fan of the way it drives. I mean, I might be if I can get used to it. It might just be a case of learning it a bit. See, he's in the GTR in front of us and I still think the GTR is gonna be strong here. The Aston Martin could be worth a shot, like we said earlier as well. Tell you what's gonna happen though the early races on this tomorrow are gonna be chaos because not many people know the track so there's gonna be a lot of chaos going off on this but it's hard it's never really i don't think it's ever been used as a daily races track so expect a lot of chaos in this one i'd expect to see deaths everywhere tomorrow I wouldn't stop in this race, mate. There's, there'll be no need to. With time six tyre wear and only six laps, I really don't think you'll need to pit. There's just no... It's just a waste of time, to be honest. You okay, Gustavo? The Merc could be all right. Um, the Merc... The only thing with the Merc is... I think if... If tyre is not an issue, I think it will get destroyed by the GTR anyway. But also, like, um, if if the Lambo and that are good here, and the Audi, if the Audi R8 is good, that's always a problem. But then I think fuel's very low, isn't it? So the Audi's slow on heavy fuel. So that'll be another thing to think about as well, because the Audi's not very good on full fuel tank. This car does rotate very well, though. I've noticed that straight away. It's got very good rotation. And with it being short shifting, you can actually go in quite high gears, so it, it might be better than what you think. <laughs> Half a second up. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I mean, we'll probably lose a bit, but still. Didn't get it in there. Didn't get that corner right. Ah, I pussied out of that. There's loads of time to find in that corner. This car feels very good, you know. I'm actually surprised the way it's driving. We could be half a second quicker here so far, easily. It rotates so well in the corners. What the hell?
Messed that up. This car is just, I mean, I've not even done a good lap there, but it's definitely faster than what we did before. Yeah, look, straight away faster. Um, the GTR though, 302.9 in the GTR there, fastest lap so far. But we, we definitely found a bit of pace with that Supra, didn't we? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. That wasn't even a good lap. That, that we should be able to get in the Tour of Threes with that pretty easily. I think I, I think I will use the Supra. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the Supra purely because I prefer it to the GTR. So I think I'm going to try and figure this car out. So we'll start a race now. We're up to the timer. So what we'll do is we'll do a qualifying session. Should we do a qualifying session or just use what we've got so far? I, I don't know. What should we do? Should we just use what we've got? It's probably easier, isn't it? Rather than messing around. Let's just go back to the... See if I can hold on to a podium. Alright, six laps, that's correct. We don't know what time of day it is, it's just pure pure guess. Yeah, it's just a bit of a waste of time, because it'll just be another six minutes of... You have to do a three-minute outlap. And I'd rather just go straight into a race, if I'm honest, because it'll be a three-minute outlap and then a three-minute qualifying lap. And then we'll have to wait for everyone, so it'll be like ten minutes. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go straight in. Right, let's just change the settings, though, now. Ah, I don't know if it'll register the times when we change the settings, though. It might it might not register them times. No, it won't register them times, you know. So we, we, we'll have to do a quali. Right, so we'll do that. So that's the race. Um, we'll just do f five minutes. So you've just got one lap in. We'll do six minutes, actually. Uh, trying to think. Yeah, six minutes, just so you get one lap quali. Tire wear is times six. Fuel is off for quali. Okay, we'll change them settings now. Right. <clears throat> right. We'll have to we'll have to do qualifying purely because if we didn't, it would just set, start everyone on where they come out the pits. So is there space in the lobby if anyone wants to join? Someone's just left. I think two people have just left. So um, if you want to join in and have a little bit of a race, feel free to jump in now, people. We're going to start the qualifying in a minute, though, so jump in and then I'll wait for anyone to fill the lobby up. Someone spawned in the middle of the track. <laughs> I think I could get used to this super, you know. It, it rotates better than I remember. Very strange. I don't remember it being quite as nice on the rotation as this. So I know I won't have pace to be competing for like fast, fast, like the fastest drivers on here yet, but at least we're getting a little bit of a warm up on it so that we're not going in totally blind tomorrow. You're tired, mate. You've been playing football. Yeah, I, I got back from the gym about, I can't even remember. Yeah, when was it? About quarter past six, I got back from the gym. Let's um, let's just see how this performs on tire wear. Let's just start this anyway. Just making sure everyone's out on track. Did Griffith is Griffith out on track? I know he only just joined. I don't know if he's out on track. 
92 degrees. It's nice and cool here and shit weather in the UK. As usual, August is always awful. And it's like cloudy. It's, this week's supposed to be a bit nicer, but it's still only going to be like 19, 20 degrees. But that, that's actually quite nice. I quite like it when it's like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, you know. I'm like, you know, with this race being something we've never had before, I don't know whether to leave the video and do a really long day stream. I don't know what to do. Obviously, the videos are good for the channel, but I could always do a video Tuesday with a bit more in-depth on the track and stuff after we've done... I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure what I want to do tomorrow. I might even I am tempted to do quite a long stream on this. Although I'll have to pick the oldest up. She starts secondary school. She's got to go in early. I'll have to see. I'll have a think. I don't know. I'll have a think and see what I want to do. I'll, I'll probably just get the video out because the videos are good for um, subscribers. So we'll probably do that and then try and start streaming earlier if we can. All depends on um, it. All depends on how YouTube uploads. Right, let's start this now. Bobby, get to track, mate. Get to track. We're starting. Get to track. I will be streaming it no matter what. We always stream on Monday. We never miss a Monday for streaming, but. What I could do is do... I normally do my video early and then do the stream in the night. But what I was thinking of doing is just one long stream. But I think the videos for this will be quite interesting. So I think I'm going to get a video out. Because I haven't done a video in two days. So I do need to do a video actually tomorrow. So we'll, we'll make sure we get the video done. And then I'll go to the gym while it's, um, while it's processing. No, I think I don't think Zabazic. I think Zabazic. I don't think Zabazic. Um, I think he used the Supra. Sorry, mate. We gave the warning out. You have to wait for the next race. We did give the warning out for. Um, we did tell people that qualifying was starting soon. So sorry, but just have to wait for. We're gonna do another one anyway. I reckon <laughs> I could go for slipstream, but I don't really want to. I want to just do it off my own pace. Let's just leave him to go ahead. Yeah, I can tell the Supra's good here because I instantly went quicker with the Supra and it wasn't a good lap. But I think Zabazic knows this track. I have. I, we, we've learned this today, so. We just gotta see if we can find a bit of. I'll probably find a bit of pace in time trial. But I'll do the races first without doing time trial. I'll just jump in in the morning. We'll do the races. And then. Um, yeah, we'll do. Um, what do you call it? Get the video out. And then I might time trial it on my main account. Just to see how it works. And then we'll do racing from the back i think it should be an interesting one from the back because there's no pit stops so you're gonna have to do all your overtaking on track is it me or is there literally no oh there is a bit of tie wear on the rear there i've just seen it Let's go minus one. I oh, started with 310 also. I feel like we can get into the 303s, but I think it's going to take me a little while longer to get to 302. Right, let's. Trying to get the slipstream behind us. Yep, 
Yeah, you can do custom liveries, yeah. It's got one of the best custom livery editors on on any game, really. Oh, that's awful. What am I doing? That was awful through there. Very low 202 or maybe even to the 201s. They might creep into the 201s. I just don't really know where I'm going here, so... I know where I'm going, I just don't feel like very confident of pushing it. So I know I'm losing a lot of time in like corners. Once we've got the flow of it, we sh I think by the end of the week we'll be alright here, you know? I feel like by the end of the week we might actually be decent. I should have done this qualifying like time trial, shouldn't I? I've done it like an FIA. <laughs> so I put tire wear on. I can break later there, but it's always a scary one, that corner. Ah, uh, lost a lot of pace there. Feet. Looks like um, the Audi's getting pole. He's caught up to the GTR. My pace is not very good, but we got to find some pace, I think, on time trial. That's where we're going to have to find it. We're going to be slow here for, for quite a lot tomorrow, I think. We're going to be quite a way off pace and then we'll have to, I might have to do like an hour of time trial to try and find a bit of pace at some point tomorrow. Yeah, there, there's going to be, a, like I said, um, there's going to be a lot of carnage tomorrow because it's not really been used, has it? So I feel like there's going to be chaos. Got the 40. What do you mean by 40? Oh, oh, right in the R8. Yeah, I... I think I used Porsche here. I remember someone said I won in the Porsche, but I don't remember that. But um, I was in a weaker lobby, probably. But um, yeah, we. Um, I, I don't know. I feel that I think the GTR is going to be stronger. Yeah, I think the GTR is stronger this way, you know, than the R8. I think the GTR looks very strong, but. I, May, I, I'm going to try I'll try and get used to the GTR and the, the Supra. The Supra is definitely going to be good because it feels like a bad lap's not too bad with it. The top two are just going to pull away from me here, though. That's a problem. <laughs> Uh, 
Because the GTR is going to keep its tyres for the race as well. So Aston Martin could be worth a shot, though. Yeah, I, I, I think that the Lamborghini in time trial, but I don't mean... I mean in the race. I think for the race, the GTR or, or the Aston Martin or something like that could be very good. I, I don't... It, the Corvette might even be all right for the race, you know. I just don't think in, in race conditions, the Lamborghini is going to keep the tyres. I might be wrong, but... I, I think it will struggle on tyres a bit on the last lap or two. Oh, if you missed quali, no, you'll have to wait for the next race, Ryan. We'll do another one after this anyway. I want to try a different. I'm, I'm going to try a different car after this. I might. I'm, I'm going to go back in the GTR and see what that's like. Now that I know the track a bit, well, I don't know it, but. At least I know what corners are coming up. So now that I know what corners are coming up, I'm going to give the GTR another go. Nah, McLaren won't do it, mate. It, it won't be able to. It won't have the pace through the, the corners, Turbo. I, I, I really don't think the GTR be be the car to go. It will be too slow on the the faster corners. It will lose so much time. I mean, I might be wrong, but be interesting to see. Ram Matthew, you legend. Thank you for a $5 donation, mate. Thanks for the wrong key. Hope everyone has an amazing week. Mate, thank you so much. Get that legend emote spammed out for Ram Matthew, please, chat. Thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate it. What a legend. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Um, the super is good. Luke is better than me probably at this track, though. Like, so I, I don't know. He's probably learned it and done better than me straight away. But I feel like I'm going to struggle a bit for, a, for the first part of the week. But um, we just have to try and figure it out. I think the GTR will be the... I really feel like the GTR will be the, the car, you know. The, the problem with the McLaren is the, the tyre wear as well for the race. The front tyres will be dead. If I started outside the slipstream... I, ha I have... Give me that slipstream. Oh my god, the tyres, there's no grip. Oh, well, there goes the fun race. <laughs> okay, we'll have to just get back past. No tyre. Imagine, that, so the tyre grip, you have to be very careful of on the start of the race because the, the hard tyres are so cold, there's no grip at all. Try and hold on to a P3. See, they're cutting that corner there a bit. I've probably just done that too much. But I know I've just seen them doing it there. Yeah, so you've probably got to get that corner spot on. We both got half a second, but I bet you can cut it. You just got to try and find the limit of where you can cut it. too late this is where I'm not being brave enough as well yeah lost a good tenth and a half there maybe two probably more than that actually because we didn't take the speed up the hill I think for the racer Corvette might be alright, but I don't I wouldn't use it in time trial. I don't think it'll be good enough in time trial. And another thing with the Corvette is it's good on fuel, which you don't want for this race. You want a car that's bad on fuel. At least it's another track that we've not had, and it's something to learn, isn't it? So it feels new. That's what I kind of like. It feels new. Like, it makes the game feel a bit newer. Because we've never really had this, so it's something you've got to learn and try and figure out.
Get close to that. Oh, that's better. Getting really close to the wall there. Uh, break too early there. A lot of this track is about getting the exit speed, like, so not going into the corner too fast, concentrating on your exit rather than entry. So I'm, I'm probably going into some of these corners a little hot. It's better to get out the corner faster. You see, like there, we've come out the corner faster and we've gained on the Audi. It's all about getting the exit speed. That's where you're going to gain a lot of your time here. Might be dirty tires, I don't know. Uh, I've gone too deep. M six might be worth a shot. Um, Roy, that actually might not be a bad shout, the M6. I lost so much time on that sector. See, we lost six temps to him there by just breaking too late again. Break too late and you just lose so much time at a track like this. It's all about getting the exit speed. Again, I've gotten the throttle too early, so I'm going to lose again on the exit. Didn't get anywhere near the apex there. Um, depends. There's been four of the players that have been all right on this. Like Box played GT for a bit and then stopped. I think because he wasn't obviously one of the best, he might not have liked it as much. But he was all right at it. He was a top split driver. But he wasn't like he wasn't competing with the top top drivers, so I don't know if he just got a bit annoyed with it. At least the first goal is done. We've got we've got a bit of consistency, and that's the main thing to start with. Find consistency and then find speed, hopefully, through the week. But we have got to find a lot of speed, because look how fast P1 is. <laughs> it's gone. I reckon P1's going to be rapid here this week. He looks like he knows the track. He's absolutely flying. not a very good lap that try and get a better lap in yeah he is a fast driver but we can keep up with him sometimes Bruno it's just that we're struggling on this track like remember at Suzuka we caught him up and overtook him for the win in group 4 at Suzuka So like, yeah, he is a fast driver, but I feel like we're just not very fast here. That's probably one of the problems. <laughs> I break too early that time. Yeah, I think he's very, very good at this track, if I'm honest. That's I think he's just really got the track nailed in. Nah, I don't, I, honestly, I, I, don't, I never watch Le Mans. It doesn't really do it for me, to be brutally honest. No, it doesn't appeal to me. I'm more into F1 than um, Le Mans and all that stuff. 
No, I didn't, I didn't watch any of it. I f maybe go um, minus one with the bias. I can see the rears are wearing out a bit faster there. Honestly, I haven't even... I didn't even watch... Na I started watching The Nations again today. I don't know what you lot feel, but... It's just not doing it for me at the moment. There's something... There's something missing from GT in that World Series. It doesn't feel the same, like... I started watching it and turned it off after 15 minutes again. Cause I was just bored. I was like... I don't know if it's the combinations they're using for the races, or... Or whether it... I don't know what it is. Something's not worth, Something's not right. It doesn't feel as good to me. It doesn't feel as exciting as it used to be. I feel like they need to do something to bring the excitement back. Yeah, lightning was missing. Obviously, that is a big thing. Like, we always want lightning there. But even then, like, without lightning, it just didn't... I, we've had lightning missing loads, and it's still been exciting. There was just, It just didn't feel very enjoyable. I just... I got bored after 10 minutes and turned it off. And went to the gym. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, I can't be arsed this. I'm going to go to the gym. We're so far off. We're like three, and, three, and a, three seconds off pace, pretty much. How the hell? P1 is just flying. The Jag might be alright. I wouldn't say it'll be one of the best. It might be worth a shot. Yeah, nice to see new drivers, but it just didn't do it for me today. I just... like, And, and, and it can't just be me, because did you see the viewing figures? The viewing figures were awful. Like, we get... <laughs> we get more people in our FIA stream sometimes than what was watching the bloody... The English... Um, the English version, which is n not normal, because, like, I've been in there in the past and there's been, like, four or 5,000 people watching. It's de it definitely seems to have died down a bit, doesn't it? And that, that probably is re in reflect to the fact that subscribers have slowed down on GT Sport. They need, they need to start pushing GT7 quick because I think people are um, getting a little bit bored of GT Sport now. They need to start giving us some GT7 footage and some info. Just something to keep us excited, I think. I think a lot of it's to do with the game. I don't even think it's like the, what they're doing wrong. I think a lot of it's just the game. Yeah, exactly, Scum Brown. Exactly. That is exactly what I'm saying. They need to start... Bringing GT7 in and like showing the odd little trailer of something new. They must have so much they could show us. They don't need to be keeping it all a secret. It doesn't really help in this situation because they, they need to keep the excitement. And at the moment, the excitement's dying for GT7 because no one knows anything. Um, The Ford GT would be okay, but I don't think it'd be as good as the GTR. Oh. Like, our pace here is really bad. <laughs> but we can only get better, can't we? That's the main thing. We can only get better. Yeah, we know. We know about that, Scott. We did a video on that months ago. Keep looking on, um, like, if you follow Smiths and Game and stuff like that on Twitter. 
they normally announce it on Twitter when they've got stock in. And I, I, I've retweeted it for a few people on my um, Twitter account. And like Adama, he managed to grab one when I um, shared the tweet. So if you follow their account, they normally do let you know when they've got them in stock. It's worth doing. The one thing we... Oh, God, we, we are finding a bit, like, consistency, just no pace. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of people struggling here this week, though. If you look at the... Like, look at this field spread on the grid in this lobby. A lot of people are going to struggle. So it's going to be a, a... If you're good at this track, this week's a good time to get your DR up because I'm telling you now, there's going to be a lot of people that are out of pace. Like, like for the first three or four days, you're going to be beating people that you wouldn't normally beat purely because they're not used to the track. So if you do know this track and you think you're pretty decent here, you need to smash the, this combination because you're going to gain a lot of DR, I reckon. Because there's going to be a lot of people making mistakes as well. That was a little bit better, the exit there. Yeah, there's like Game, um, Smith's... What's the other one? Um, Cory. Cory's have been shit, though, with the PS5 stock. Um, but, like, Amazon as well have been pretty bad. But Amazon, are, they've had a few drops, but... Amazon haven't been that great, to be honest. Tyreware looks all right in this car, though. That makes me think Tyreware is going to be all right in most cars. Because this car's not exactly the best on Tyreware, is it? <laughs> just uh. I mean, it took me a while to get up to pace on this week's Daily Race C. But we got there in the end. We started finding a bit of pace, didn't we? So, And that's a track that we've done quite a few times. This one's going to be a lot more effort required, I reckon. Oh, shh. Go get... Yes, Argus as well. They always do it through the night. Argus tend to release their stock around 3 a.m., so, again, the, what I advise you do with Argus, though, is get the console in your wish list first and, tr like, try it. Like, I, I, have, I had it in my basket without even... At one stage, bit, like, I've already got it, but I managed to get it in the basket. Um, for a, I was looking for a second one, but I'm not now. But um, if you can get it into the basket, that'll help as well, because when it does come in stock, you'll, be a lot, you'll find it a lot easier to check out. But even if it's on your wish list... That'll make it easier to check out because you just go straight to it. And, yeah, make sure you're logged in as well. Like, get yourself logged in and, it should, like, get all your payment details. Things like getting your payment details on Argus website already in there, like, stored. So when it comes to it, you just instantly press check out. It will save you, like, that two, three minutes when you're going to lose out on, on buying the stock. Do you know what I mean? So little things like getting your payment details in on, like, Amazon... Argus, stuff like that will really help out. Obviously, on Amazon, everyone has it, but Argus, you don't have to. So, it's an advice I would advise you doing it. Yeah, I've got my mine's matte black. I've I bought a black matte. Blah, 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 blah. I bought a um, an, a shell for mine from um, can't remember the name of something. Old cases, old cases, it they're called. I bought um, the black one from them. So my PS5 is all black now. It looks way better. Oh shit, that's breaking late there. God, I'm awful here. Like 20 seconds behind the pace. We're never that slow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, we're slow. Oh, you got stung. What is a yellow jacket? I, I'm, I'm, is that something in America? I don't... Is it like a wasp or something? I don't know what that is. Hope you're okay though, mate. You've only just got over COVID and now you got st stung by something. Jesus. Get well, mate. <laughs> 2020. It won't be that late. 
I can assure you it won't be 2024. I think it'll be next year. It's definitely going to be next year, but I have a feeling it's going to be late next year now. Like, it could be late, like, November 2022, which is worrying. Oh, is it just a wasp? Oh, okay. I don't know. They're probably worse over there, the wasps. I don't know. Yeah, November would make sense if they want to try and... Although, November's a dangerous period to launch a game, isn't it? I wouldn't launch it then. I would. I think that, like, March would be ideal. For, like, February, March next year would be great if they could do it for them. But I don't think it'll be ready by then. I'm driving so bad here. Like, really bad. I just don't get how he's that fast. I, what I'll need to do is watch the time. I will learn a lot on this by um, waiting for the top drivers to set a lap time. And then watching their laps and then following them in time trial so I'll, what i do like if you're this is what i tend to do for time trial is i will first watch the top person's lap see what gears they're going in and then what i'll do is i'll set their time to start half a second ahead of me so straight away they, they're ahead of you in the corners and then you can use them as a guide for the corners it helps you pick braking and racing lines and also what you'll find is you'll instantly see where you're losing pace on some corner. So you'll just notice them pulling away out of like, because they're already half second ahead. If they gain, you see it straight away. So that's what I always do for time trial, just to try and figure a track out. Has a Gran Turismo game ever been not delayed? No. Always delayed. Every time. Yeah, it's, it's probably, a, I was going to say, it's probably more aggressive. Have you have you got any yeah get some antihistamine anyway Mr Casual the our, our oldest got stung by a wasp on the foot and had to go to hospital didn't she because she had like a reaction to it on her foot yeah he definitely does that's um he's a fast driver anyway isn't he so yeah it's it's always worth doing like watch their lap first so before you do your lap just watch like lightning does this you know lightning will so even if you speak to lightning if lightning ever goes onto the game to do a lap he'll always watch the top times lap first just to give him a quick little mental note of how late you can break what corners and what gears because i guarantee you as soon as i watch that tomorrow i will find like probably a second and a half instantly just by seeing where i'm losing pace but um you can't really i don't really want to do it when we're in here because obviously we're practicing but we'll do that tomorrow when we're in time trial right um let's try the gtr i'm gonna give the gtr a go and see if see if i'm a bit better in that or if i'm worse <laughs> yeah be careful mr casual <laughs> Dave, I know, like, I, I, I don't like wasps, but I've never really had a bad reaction off being stung by one. Like, I normally just get a tiny little dot on my arm, and then it's normally like a little, just a little prick, basically, and then I kill the little prick. <laughs> but then she, she had a bad reaction on her foot. Yeah, I, I, I'm just not very good at this track, mate. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm only just starting to learn it now. I think we can definitely start finding at least a second by just learning it a bit more. See, when GT7 launches, you, everyone's DR will not carry over, just so people know. Your DR will not carry over from GT Sport to GT7. That won't be a thing. It'll be a total fresh start for everyone, and I can't wait for that. It'll be it'll be the battle to see who can get up to the like top ranks as fast as possible. I'm gonna be hammering it. I'm gonna be like, I want to be up there as one of the first. So I, I will be doing a lot of streaming and um, a lot of videos to help you lot out, increasing your DR and help you get faster and stuff like that. We'll be doing a lot on GT7. Ooh. Oh, oh, that uh, infinity! Don't say that. That makes me go a bit weird. I don't like. I don't like wasp. 
It's not even that they hurt. They're just annoying little shits, aren't they? Like, wasps just... What is the point to a wasp? They're just arseholes, aren't they? Right, we'll start another one in a minute. Oh, okay, there. If you use the track a bit better. I, I would agree with you there, Ryan. Um, although this game has had its issues, trust me. <laughs> there was an issue at one stage where there was a, a grip bug for certain accounts. Some people were getting, like, extra grip in the braking zones, which was a bit um, weird. They did fix it, though. Um, let's start this qualifying. <laughs> They're just point. They are pointless, aren't they, the wasps? I mean, I know they obviously pollinate stuff, probably, but I hate them. They're just shitheads. They like, like I don't mind bees because bees, right? Bees are okay. They, they'll only sting you if you pretty much piss them off. If you if you don't wind them up and you stay out their way, they'll let you be and they'll just they'll go on with their day and they'll you know what I mean? They're not arseholes. Wasps, on the other hand, are little shits. They will just sting you for no reason at all. They'll just you'll just look at one funny and it'll be like, right, you're getting it. Boom. Hate them. Hate the little sods. Oh yeah, I've had issues with mine, Scott, but it's not it's not it's not terrible issues. It's just like sometimes the wheel goes heavy, sometimes it'll steer left like that like randomly it's really weird but it's it's not very often i have to say right let's start this um qualifying and we'll go again let's see what this gtr is like see if we can see if we can go half a second a lap quicker and not be beat by 20 seconds maybe 15 seconds yeah that exactly george so a bee like once it stings it's 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 its defense mechanism isn't it and then it's just dead yeah, Flash, I don't need to. GT7 will be my work, Flash. I can't wait, I swear. I'm going to be hammering the game. I'm going to be hammering it. I'm going to be trying to get double content out every day for that. So, literally, the first week of GT7, it'll be video stream, video stream, video stream, video stream. Or it might be like, stream, get a video ready, stream for ages, and then do the video to go out at night time where it'll peak a bit better. We'll just keep mixing it up. We'll be doing loads of content for GT7. Right, let's start this anyway. What are we doing for likes, by the way, chat? We 170 likes. Thank you very much, everyone who's hit the like button. Legends, appreciate that. Let's hit 30 away from 200. If we can get to 200 today, that'd be pretty insane. Yeah, I, I, I would never deal with any sort of nest, to be honest, Calder. Let someone who knows what they're doing deal with that shit. Don't ever mess with it yourself. You okay, Toxic? How are you, mate? We're good. Hope you're okay. I, I'm, I'm looking... Yeah, the new wheel will be... I'm, I, I'm looking forward to the new wheel because I hope they give the Fanatec the advantage that the TGT's got this for this game. If that happens, then we'll be in a good position because... The TGT definitely has an advantage on GT Sport. It's like a known thing. You ask anyone who's got one and have tried both, they'll always use the TGT over any other wheel because it has an advantage on GT. But I like the Fanatec because I like the feel of it more. Um, and if GT7 has a bit of an advantage with the Fanatec, which hopefully it will do with the fact that it's going to be an official brand, then, yeah, that could be um, pretty good for GT7. The new, it's the, it's the um, DD Pro, isn't it? So it's, we, we showed people the other day that, uh, I think, is it this one? I don't know if it's this. Oh no, it's up here. So this is the new wheel that you'll want to get for GT7. That's the new wheel that will be coming out for GT7. I don't know why I've just let these through. Need to get ahead of um, thingy in front of us because we were quite a bit faster than crazy. 
rip that fan out. <laughs> I think I'll go minus one with the hard tyres because That's the thing with the GTR is that rear end. Yeah, I've never used their um, direct drive wheel. I'm going to have to let him go here because he'll end up holding me off a bit. But I don't want to let all these through. I'm trying to give myself a gap. That should be enough, because crazy is, he's not that slow, is he? Right, let's get that exit. drive this fucking car you know <laughs> I can't drive it <laughs> this is why I don't use this car because I don't I just don't like it <clears throat> we'll be starting from the back in this one then this will be good practice for tomorrow at least okay <laughs> Mate, we're trying to learn the tracks hard. We don't know where we're... Well, we do know where we're going now, but... Something about the GTR that I really doesn't agree with me. I think it's because I'm... I naturally like to get on the throttle very early. The GTR doesn't like that. You have to be really smooth. Yeah, I'll be using this, obviously, until that new wheel's out. And then I'll... Um, I will probably get it purely because there'll be a lot of people that will want to know what it's like, so I will get that. And then this will be my backup wheel. It's always, like, for me, I have to have a backup wheel because obviously it's my job. Okay, just delete that out of the chat, please, and um, block, block it. Mm, yeah, it could. I don't, think, I don't think GT will launch before that, though, Anthony. My guess is that I, uh, my, I still hope that it will launch in March because I think GT Gran Turismo games have tended to launch in March, haven't they, in the past? They have launched in the past in March, so never know. It might come out in March. It'd be interesting if it did. Like, if we only had to wait another seven months for GT7, I'd be all right with that, like seven, eight months. I'm, ha I'm quite happy to wait that long. But I'm just a bit depressed about waiting and possibly another 14, 15 months. That's quite depressing. Yeah, it can spin up very easily. No, Tommy, not with the GTR. Not with hard tyres, you don't. I learned that from Fire. Fire told me ages ago, never use anything too far rear bias with hard tyres with the GTR. Unless you're saving tyres, that is. Unless he changed, he might have changed, but he might use it now, but...
And we spawn on that lap, so yeah, rip, rip to that lap. <laughs> I, th I think we could have got a 304 with the GTR because we did a 305 with the um, with the Supra. So let's see if we can fight our way through the field, though. This will be fun. Fire, he does have a YouTube, but he never does anything on it, Scott. He he's very rarely on there. Like he did stream every now and then a long time ago, but nothing since. I don't think I don't think he has the time to really do it to be honest. So yeah, he very rarely does much on there. Yeah, at least it'll be a bit more interesting. We'll have to fight our way through, and we've got a car that can overtake. So just try not to bin it, and see if we can see if we can get used to overtaking people for tomorrow's race. This will be the last race we do anyway. Um, it's only going to be a short stream tonight. I just wanted to give you a lot a bit of a idea on how to drive the track not that i'm a good idea because i'm shy here but at least you lot can kind of see the breaking points and stuff like that ah oh, udi right ray bala is it ray right right i can't even say that Ray bala is it thank you very much for the is that um russian dog what is that i don't know what that is is that is that is that um brazilian it might be brazilian rubla is it I have no idea. It could be Brazilian. Thank you very much for the five dollars, you legend. Get that legend emote spammed out, please, chat. Thank you very much. I think it's is it Brazilian dollars? I might be wrong. I have, I'm shite with stuff like this, but it might be Brazilian dollar. <laughs> yeah, we binned it, mate. We we had a big crash. <laughs> See if we can overtake. See if we can get ourselves into the top. I'm looking at the pace. Uh, maybe top five. We'll see. Thank you, by the way. Absolute legend. Thank you for all the donations tonight. Appreciate it. Absolute legends. Have we managed to get 200 likes, by the way? Two, two, two likes away from 200 likes. We only need two more and we've done it. Thank you very much, everyone, for doing that. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of deaths tomorrow. I said that earlier, like, <laughs> you're going to see so many people crashing and because it's something new again, um, you're going to see loads of people crashing, spinning. You're going to see really slow driving by me. So it should be fun. <laughs> but I don't mind the challenge. We but like, honestly, even if I'm slow tomorrow, the aim is to get faster by the end of the week, which I'm sure we can do. I feel like the track isn't a bad track for me. I feel like it's just a case of really pushing and starting to understand where to push the car. So hopefully with a bit of practice, we can start finding pace here. I think that's very wishful thinking, Toxic. He definitely won't be out this year, GT7. They've already confirmed it's 2022, mate. So it ain't coming out this year. Right, let's see if we can fight our way through these cars. Oh, he's starting from the back. Look. <laughs> Might be able to learn a bit from what he's doing in that GTR, actually. Don't know what he's doing there, whether he's... Letting us through or not. Oh. He's starting from the back, isn't he? He'll still win because he's so, he's absolutely flying around there. Ah, oh, see, I can't get that line through there.
I had that corner. You okay, Arkees? How are you, mate? Oh, they're all wide there. I don't know why. Why am I shifting that early there? Why are we all? Why are we all saying our age in the chat? <laughs> What's going on? I'm 39. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Sard saying 12. Sard, you liar. <laughs> So I'm losing a lot of time on that final corner. I've just seen the way that he does that corner. I'm losing a lot there. <laughs> Sad. Stop with the lies. <laughs> oh, I thought that was someone else saying that to you, Sard. That's <laughs> yourself. Oh, but I can't see the breaking point. Shit. Oh, shit. I couldn't see where I was breaking. <laughs> Whoopsie. That didn't go very well, did it? I didn't want to kill him, so... Oh, I can't. I'm going to lose more time now. Ah. Oh, Tommy, where are you going? Nah, we can't take him out. We have to avoid him. Can't just ram him. <laughs> See if we can catch these back up anyway. Yellow flag. Someone's bend it here on this corner. Probably ran too far wide. Very easily done. <laughs> 20 and 16. What are they together? See you later, Dave. Thank you for pop popping in, mate. Appreciate it. God, this GTR is so fast on the streets. Look at it go. So I need to figure that corner out, really. That's where I'm losing a lot of pace. Ooh. 
Nah, I didn't bother with it, so I never really watch it, to be honest. It doesn't do it for me. Whoa, the whoa there. There's a wall there, mate. <laughs> I saw I saw that happening. That's why I look back. <laughs> so that's gonna happen a few times as well in the daily races. That could be fun. It's always entertaining when someone does that in a race. It'd probably be me as well. Remember this right now. I guarantee you I'll do this that one once this week. Guaranteed. Okay, we're catching up to P1 very fast here. Well, why I went on the grass there. God, this chair's doing my head in with all the noises out of it, you know. Oh yeah, P1's changed now. Well, that's faster than what we did in the Super, at least. <laughs> Not very good, but still. Nipper Dog, thank you for the two pound donation. Hey, K, how are you doing? Chilling on us on the yeah. We're just trying to figure this track out, to be honest. Thank you so much for the donation. Get that legend emotes bammed out, please, for Nipper, please, chat. Absolute legend. Appreciate the support, mate. Hope you're having a good day as well. Right, break a bit earlier this time. Oh, BMW all over the place there. BMW does not really stand the chance against a GTR on a straight line. Was a bit better. <clears throat> we actually got that right for a change. Okay, I, I might have figured out that corner there, right there. Might have actually managed to do it reasonably okay for a change. Oh, he's off. close the 
The problem I have with the GTR is it sometimes doesn't rotate if you don't brake properly with it. It's a really awkward car to drive. I'm sure if I practice and practice with it, we'll find the pace a bit, but... Yeah, I, I, we're going to need to really do a lot of work with this this week to try and find any sort of pace. Like, we, we, we're far too far. Like, we shouldn't be four, three seconds off pace. Let's see if we can do a bit better lap this time. Let's push a bit more and see if we can get ourselves into the 305s. That's what we've got to aim for first. Target 305. Not a very good start. <laughs> We're down. That corner I find very tricky in this GTR. Oh, I've messed it up. See that again, I've messed that up this time. Someone's binned it. Oh, P2 binned it. F in the chat for P2. Can't find the pace. Okay, he lifts a bit earlier than I do there and then gets on the front all the way through the corner. Interesting, he gained like three tenths by doing that. Saw it on the Delta. Lost a load of time there. Corner is a pain.
better. Oh, I hit a weird bump there. This is going to be a difficult race tomorrow, I can tell you. If there's people that are good at this track, we're screwed. <laughs> I wonder what Sean's going to do for work now, Henry. With the, with the news of what they're doing to um, OnlyFans. <laughs> we were definitely faster with that car than we were the Supra. And I feel like there's a lot of time to find with it. So I think we'll stick with the GTR for tomorrow, you know. I think in the race it's going to be better. I think it's going to be a better car for race pace. So, yeah, I'm going to do my race from the back to start the day tomorrow um, in the GTR. It can be an interesting one. So I've got to get up and take the old, the oldest one, start secondary school tomorrow. She's got to go in a week earlier than everyone else because because of COVID, they couldn't do the the week preview. So she's got to do it while the summer holidays are on. So I've got to be up. She's got to be in for 9 a.m. So I have to be up at like 8-ish. I, I just, it's a baffling thing they've done, isn't it? That they've, they've done that because they, they're throwing away money, surely. What? Not, not, not really. Why? I'm not, do I look like I'm sweating? Listening? Your mask, listen. That's just my radiant face. That is... Shiny, that. Shiny? It's because I put moisturizer on. Probably just shining a bit. <laughs> you go in bed, pumpkin. Give me a big cuddle. Oh, oh, Chris, thank you so much for the 250, you legend. Mwah. Be in the morning, pumpkin. Watch that lead. Don't trip over it. Thank you so much, Chris Smith. Absolute legend. Get that legend about spammed out for Chris Smith, please. What a legend. Appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, that is going to be it for tonight um, in terms of for that. I just wanted to give you a lot an idea to, of how things are going to go down. I think the GTR, personal choice for me is going to be the GTR. It, it feels pretty good. But I, I need to find some pace there, though. <laughs> My pace is awful. But um, thank you for whoever joined the lobby, by the way. I appreciate it. And remember, if you haven't already hit that like button... Make sure you get it spammed now. Let's see. We're only six likes away from 250 likes tonight, which is pretty crazy because we only had like 230, 240 people in the stream. So thank you, everyone who's hit, took the time out to hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, tomorrow will be double content day. So um, what are the other daily races? If you wanted to know, let's go through them now quickly before we end the stream. Uh, let me see. So we've got... I'm looking forward to what I think Daily Race A is going to be, by the way, chat. I hope it is the touring car there again. I bloody love that one. So Daily Race A is Kyoto Driving Park, um, the really short one. Uh, eight laps, N200, specially provided car. I am hoping that it's going to be the Mazda Touring Car because we all know how much fun that one was. I love that race, so we'll be definitely doing a lot of that. If, it, if that is the Mazda Touring Car race... We'll be doing a lot on that for um, streaming. Um, Daily Race B is... We don't even want to talk about Daily Race B. We'll skip that. Um, Daily Race C is what we've just done there. So, yeah. Um, 
you can guess why I've skipped Daily Race B. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, God. Send help. Send help, please. I need help. Someone send help. I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. If I do a race on there, I'll just start it from the back and see if we don't finish last, maybe. Have a guess, right? If you know anything about me, have a guess. It's our most... One of our... Well, it's probably the most hated track on the game for me. It's Gardens in Reverse in Group 4. So if you watch the FIA stream the other week, you'll know why I won't really want to do that. So well, I'll do it for the video. That is all you'll get. I ain't streaming that track. I ain't, I'm just not doing it. I will be staying well clear of that for streaming. We will do Daily Race A and C when it comes to streaming. Um, I ain't, I ain't going to be streaming Daily Race B. I hate it. I hate it. Horrible track. Ban the track from the game. But, um... No, it's way worse than Willow Springs, trust me. I can drive Willow Springs. I can't drive that... I don't know what it is. I just can't... I can't drive it. It's horrible. Yeah, it definitely is an SOS. I... I pff, hate it with a passion. Oh, thank you for hitting the like button, even though you've just come in. Yeah, we've... You can always re-watch the stream. It'll stay on the channel. We are not. We won't be unlisting it or anything because we've not got a video out today. Tomorrow, we'll be doing the video. Then the stream will get unlisted, obviously, because the video, hopefully. So let's hope... I think we're going to have an entertaining video tomorrow purely because if Daily Race A is good and Daily Race C, and you can all laugh at me in Daily Race B because I might even set a lap time because I'll be so bad at that track. I might be better setting a lap time for it. Um, Daily Race B is Dragon Trail Gardens Reverse in Group 4, Chris. I hate it. I hate that track with a passion. But yeah, that will do us for a very quick stream tonight. Sorry, it's not a longer one. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what that track... We ne no one's really done that track that much on GT Sport. So tomorrow's video is going to be entertaining, I reckon, because you're going to probably see a lot of death. If you want to see a lot of deaths, make sure you watch the video tomorrow because there could be uh, plenty of that happening. Probably a few wall entries as well, what we saw um, Bobby do. <laughs> probably a few... Um, wall deaths so it's going to be a fun one but yeah thank you everyone for hitting the like button thank you for the donations tonight and thank you everyone who's if there's any new subscribers thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed why not do it and um yeah hit that like button before you leave the stream and i will see you tomorrow for video and stream and hopefully it'll be a fun one um as we try and learn daily race c and see if we can find any pace but yeah take care everyone stay safe enjoy the rest of your night whatever you're doing and i'll see you tomorrow Bye, everyone.